I want that love. Okay, you gonna get your gangsta love. Uh, I want that gangsta love. Like that that look him and Vicky smiles, you know what I'm saying? Like look, I want that. And what, what happened to them? Rest in peace to Biggie. Rest no. in peace to Tupac. What happened to and look him look and him. Biggie smile? Huh. Biggie then went off and then married Faith in less than a month. And now look him trying to look like Faith later in life. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Yeah, my name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, y'all. So first and foremost, make sure you take the time to visit our erotic, black erotic bookstore. Uh, by visiting nickandcarla.com slash freaks. Babe, what are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to Goddamn Go Navy. Story time about cheating on my ex. Ultimate deal, nightmare, OMG, Goddamn Go. All right, y'all. So this should be a very interesting story time. I don't want to waste y'all time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Before we get a reaction, do us a favor. Hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. A lot of times when we have long videos like this, a lot of times you can just push, put that motherfucker on play and you can just go about your day. You can be shopping all that, treat it like a podcast because yeah. anytime it's like you have words on the screen, I'll read it out loud and stuff like that. So you don't even have to watch it like that. It's just something nice to listen to while you're going about your day or working. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. I go live, like I, I get like my first topic and then I just run with it. But now my topic changed because this dude, this dude keep calling me. Bitch, let me over. Hold on, play on my time, okay? Thank you. This is called a one-way street for a reason. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Back to what we was at. Uh, this dude just keep calling me, y'all. Like he just keep calling me. And let me give y'all the backstory. And let let me know if I should give him another chance, or we gonna let you know if I should just say fuck it and keep it moving. Okay. So here's the team. I used to date this guy, whatever the case may be, a long time ago. Woo, 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 woo. And we was just real cool, you know, mingling, mixing, and all that good stuff. You know, it was, you know, at the time we were younger, probably like I don't even remember what, like twenty. 2019 or 19 and I was gonna say 2019, 19, I don't fucking know. But we was younger, right? Period. And, and um, oh my god. And so we was kicking it. He was this dude. I thought he was like you know straight or whatever the case may be. But he was just a very masculine gay man. Slow down, boo. Thank you. If you want to try to pass me? Not today. I'm not the one. I will pull over and bust anybody in the head today. So he was, you know, I thought he was straight, whatever the case may be, but he was just very much a masculine. Sissy. But he was he driving a Tesla? Girl, I, I don't know. I ain't gonna disrespect him. <laughs> he was a masculine dude, period. And so, um, you know, we jaded and do we didn't have sex. I told you I don't have sex. We didn't have sex because one, his thing was just too big. It was immaculate. It was huge. It was just Extravagant. It was um. What's another word? Give me a word. Immaculate. Huge. Extravagant. Hey, and don't judge me. Now I enormous. I yeah, gigantic, <laughs> grande. Um, don't judge me. But I always never really understood why certain guys would be excited about a huge penis. It just always seemed like it would just break their ass. You know. Yeah. I mean, for real, for real. I don't understand. Are really are all women excited about big penises? Comment below. I don't think all women are. Like, I remember, um, you know, I always bring up Portia, how she said she don't like no big penises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't. And I think and sometimes you, you got gotta some... be in the mood for uh, big, uh, uh, and then some uh people... grande stuff happening. And then some people, that's how they like it. They, like, don't come to me with no little bitty boat. So comment below, are you one of the ones that's like, don't come to me with no little bitty boat? Are you the ones who like to ride the little speedboat? Or are you the one like you gotta be in the mood? 
for it. You gotta really get things uh, started up for it to happen. <laughs> Uh, voluptuous, uh, out of this world. It was just really big, so I was scared. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, put it away, danger, <laughs> whatever. So, um, we just Somebody kicked it. So, I think good. this is what led to him doing what he did because since I wasn't giving away the cookie jar, I felt he was trying to get the cookies somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I'm very much trying to give you mall cookie, and this other, you know, mall cookies is real. No, what's a good cookie place? What's that cookie place on Moreland Avenue? Uh, 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 uh. Come crumble cookie. What's that cookie place in East Atlanta, y'all? It's the real good cookie place. The cookie just melt in your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. What's the good cookie place? Everybody go there to get the cookies. That's my cookies. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking. What's the cookies called? Um, ah, shit. The cookies is called um. It says something. April cookie. What's it called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I insomnia, heard. bitch. I yeah. got the insomnia cookie, bitch. Okay, so I got the insomnia cookie, and this bitch got the mall cookie. So you know, you can just get that cookie anywhere. Y'all know what I'm talking about the cookie shop that's in the mall. Oh, like that's the, the cookie that bitch had. I had insomnia cookies. So I went trying to give it away. This is high price, good cookie, bitch. And so I had told him. I wanted to have movie night at my cousin house. I'm like, okay, I want to have movie night at my cousin house. I want to chill, whatever the case may be. So I planned the whole movie night, got popcorn, food, everything, ready, bitch. Time come, he didn't show up. Where are you? Hello? So I'm calling, I'm texting, I'm doing everything. Just like calling, 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 texting, texting. He ain't picking up. So I'm like, okay, cool, great, whatever. You know, this is my first time, like, really, like, Feeling somebody like this, well, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm too boy crazy for that. I mean, somebody who lived like I've always dated niggas who live like far away. He lived like around the block, so it was just like, oh my god, I can call him. Boom, he's here. And you know, he was kind of real ratchet, like kind of. And it was just, you know, <laughs> whatever. So you trying to spice it up? You've been there, done that, rode that rodeo, okay? Anyway. So, it was just a new experience for me. Like, an, a, another new one. A DJ Khaled, another one. So, anyway, I, he ends up calling my cousin, telling her, I'm not going to be able to make it. And she's like, why are you not going to be able to make it? Bitch. Why you calling her cousin? Yeah, it, friend, it's something. It, it hit different when your dick is around the corner, bitch. Like, when it's, like, two houses down the street, like, ooh, bitch, that dick hit different, girl. <laughs> From like he gotta drive 20 30 minutes but when it's just like two houses and you be like i want to cuddle up it's like oh bitch this is speedy dick you know what i'm saying speedy gonzalez dick road runner dick bitch like what's the tea bitch like yes roger hello, rabbit dick bro. bitch okay hello so anyway um he calls my cousin and he tell my cousin um i'm not gonna make it whatever the case may be i'm not coming and so, you know me, I'm a crazy bitch. Bitch, Gemini kicks in. Who ain't coming? Bitch, I done playing this day. You're coming. I go to his Instagram. Yeah. Girl, he was at... You know, he stood me up to go to the park. To walk in the park with this light skin. No offense to the gay community. Because y'all finna get mad. With a faggot. And what I mean... Uh, Oh, God, oh so was, he was out. Yeah. That was Keno. I thought this was a DL. <laughs> Sorry, he was last night. No, I'm just playing. Uh, I made that name up. Um, with a faggot. And see, in the gay community, there's different words. You got faggot, you got sissy, you got butch queen, you got um 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 transgender. You got you know you got a lot of stuff. So when I say faggot, faggot means like you know they wearing uh it's kind of like a drag queen but a drag queen at least go a hundred percent to try to make themselves look like a beautiful woman or a, i don't want to say beautiful oh. just a woman in general but a faggot will put on oh god i'm gonna make some people mad oh god i'm sorry oh jesus be careful what you say this is not talking about just say it nobody <laughs> oh my god but in the gay community y'all know what i'm talking about a faggot is when they put on like the nails, but they still got on boy clothes. Or they like have on nails and the eyelashes. Hold but on, so is that like Saucy Santana? Let me see you walk, 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 oh, walk. I don't know, girl. Don't, don't. Cause he wear the nails, and but he still have a beard. 
he still wear regular clothes sometimes. Well, it's like be tight clothes, but you know, but he, he's extremely feminine. But he also masculine too, I guess. I don't know. I'm thinking Saucy Santana. Comment below your thoughts. They still got a goatee yeah. and wear a purse. Saucy. Oh, <laughs> my God. You know what's crazy? Me and Carla, we was in Best Buy and we had ran into this guy. We actually caught him on the vlog a little bit, but my mics wasn't working. Um, and um, this gay dude who was probably similar to him, I didn't know it was different names, uh, faggot, uh, 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 all this stuff. I didn't know. But um, we was just like, yeah, you know, so what, what are your thoughts on Saucy Santana? As soon as I said it, he was like, ew, no. He like had the worst, like the biggest look of disgust or the expression of disgust on his face. So what is a gay man? Do y'all not like Saucy Santana? <laughs> he's like, he's not a good example for the gay community. Yeah, like he was saying, he's not a good rep rep representation. Yes, why can I say that? Yes, for, um, I guess, gay men. But why? Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe when it comes down to maybe people that are not out or I don't know. I mean, I don't understand why because at the end of the day, he's being himself. He's pushing, making people more comfortable with listening to music coming from a gay man. It's like, yeah, he's a bit... Flamboyant. Yeah, but it's like, it ain't no different than flamboyant. In my eyes, Zoe is flamboyant. I don't think Zoe is when flamboyant. He, I think, I he think can, when he dance... He can he, easier hide it. He can hide it easier, in my opinion. Like, for example, if he talking to somebody, he may be able to like, hey, you, you on TikTok? What's your TikTok name? You know, maybe cool up front. But when he start flirting with them dudes and shit, he be kind of flamboyant with it, right? Yeah, but I, to me, when I think flamboyant, I just think like the person who I used to work with. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? That is very flo like flamboyant. Yeah. yeah. So I don't see. But Zoe look at as look that. at these pictures of Zoe on this damn yeah, pole. Yeah, when he on the pole, honey, he freak nasty, he freak ho. <laughs> and that must be that Gemini. <laughs> Maybe it's just off the ego. I don't know. I ain't talking about nobody. I promise. I'm just saying that's what we call it. We'll be like, oh, sissy, oh, faggot. But then you got a bush queen, which is me. We're like, you know, I'm a dude. I give you boy. But I know how to bush and queen. I know how to queen out. So I very much butch, but she very much can queen, bitch. You get what I'm saying? So she's a bush queen, period. Bush queen's not a bad thing. Because I saw this one boy on his story. He's a bush queen. But he was like, don't y'all call me no bush queen. I'm not a bush queen. I'm like, sis, to be honest, girl. <laughs> I don't want to rain on your parade, but bitch. <laughs> So anyway, it's just lingo. It don't mean that that's what you are. And I know it sounds very derogatory and rude, whatever the case may be. But, you know, just how girls can call each other. But at the end of the day, a lot of people like to put, uh, us humans, pure, we like to put things in boxes for whatever reason. Yeah. It helps us feel safe and organized and all that shit. So just like when people see uh, me, they may see a masculine presenting woman or a stud or whatever the fuck they, a soft stud, whatever the fuck they call me. When they see Carla, they may see feminine, femme, or whatever they see her as. It just is what it is. We have no control over it. Yeah. Bitches, but guys can't call a girl a bitch. It's like that. Like, I could, like, shut the fuck up, sissy. And it's it's like I can say it, but y'all can't say yeah. it. You get what I'm saying? Just like transsexuals. It'd be so funny. Like, they can call each other's, no offense, they can call each other's tranny and call, like, men who date them tranny chasers, but then let somebody else call them a tranny. Man. I fucked up and called and said tranny on the YouTube channel. Yeah, that wasn't too cute. That wasn't too cute. Yeah, you can't say it, but they can say it. I guess it. I can't say it. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, the friend that I had who was transsexual, he called himself... Oh. Yeah, that's his <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> but he still should have taught you like proper etiquette. Yeah, because I don't he think he allowed... cared. Yeah, he didn't care, but it was probably because y'all. He should have cool, protected me. But he still should have said, "I right, bitch, now nah, you can use that shit with me." But when you get out there in the world, somebody else might not like. And this the shit. reason why I'm using pronoun he because <laughs> I was like, it's like I had never been around, uh, you know, someone like that before. 
that dressed like a girl, but still, I'm be honest, you know, even though he dressed like a girl, he still had a manly face. He still had a manly face. So I had to ask, I was like, so what should I call you? This is before it was, pronouns was a big serious thing. And he was just like, you, you can call, he was like, you can call me whatever you see at the moment. Sometimes people call me she, sometimes people call me he, sometimes people just call me whatever they see at that moment. And I literally was just flipping and flopping between he and she, depending on how much energy he was giving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but he was comfortable. He even showed me him uh, tucking his pain and everything with a little sock and all that stuff. It was a real comfortable little Taurus. I bet you they don't even do that anymore. They probably got some new tricks now. Oh yeah, they probably have it looking just like a vagina. Yeah. They probably got it's some, vagina as some type as it can of get. latex. They probably don't have to use socks anymore. Well, like a condom? I don't know. They probably just have different shit for them to tuck nowadays. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to mind our business, though. We don't want to get in trouble now. <laughs> Then it's like, oh, that's so disrespectful, that's rude. It's just like, damn, bitch, but you be saying it. So, whatever. That's well, a little bit. ain't no different than black people. We all say the N-word, but we get mad as hell when white people say the N-word. Ain't no different. Not even white people, everybody. Anybody who ain't. I think some people. Anybody who ain't bit, black. I think some people be a little <laughs> bit more lenient when it comes to, like, Puerto Ricans and shit like that. I mean, me, I, 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 I just, let me get into the video. For today. Anyway, so he went to the park to go see this little faggot child, and I was so over it. Why did he do that? And you had because he Wait, ain't giving up. He the didn't know about the plans. Well, uh, oh yes, he did because he said he couldn't make it. Yes, he's mad. Faggot is like real loud and ghetto. A city, at least. But a I bet you the, and the faggot giving it up. But I bet you the faggot can that's take that why, dick. That's why he said he got in some you cookies and the faggot got mall cookies. Exactly. <laughs> No. <laughs> I think that's what he was saying. He said, Zoe said he got in some of your cookies, some cookies that just melt in your mouth. Yeah. Sissy wear the nails and stuff, and they real cute and classy, but a faggot is loud and ratchet. So it was a faggot. He went to go see that faggot, and bitch, I got heated. Like, I had our whole day together. You were my nigga, my boyfriend, my man, my baby, my boo thing. What? And then you did this to me. Then you did this to me. Oh, that's so disrespectful. And now, you know, we broke up, whatever. He tried to still remain friends with my cousin. And, like, I wanted to beat the shot of him. You coming over my cousin's house all in my face, knowing that we just broke up. And mind you, y'all, trigger alert. I had, um, you know, you know how sometimes us as girls, <laughs> us as girls, we get a little, no offense to the people who do this for real, but this was my reason. Okay, I'm not. I'm just spreading my life with y'all right now. Um, so sometimes us as women, even men, we do things to get people's attention to see how they're gonna react. So you know, I'm very much a Gemini. We kind of bipolar a little bit. We get real like you know in our feelings and may do things like bust a window, go rob a bank just to see if you gonna help us out, whatever the case may be. But at this moment, at time in my life, I like you know cut my wrist like two times so I could take a picture and send it to him and be like, look what you made me do. Sorry, what? What did he just say? Honey, I thought he was. Um, he was trying to slide that shit in like this is some shit everybody do. This shit ain't normal. No, you know what? I did do something real crazy a long time ago. Y'all don't judge me. Why is she looking like this? <laughs> a long time ago, y'all. Please don't judge. I was still in high school. But it was this girl again, the the first person who ever broke my little puppy dog heart. Um, she just would not get right. And this is, again, please don't judge me, but, um, I was on the phone with her trying to cry a little bit. <laughs> and then I, uh, I don't even want to say this shit. Um, <laughs> you want to tell me in my ear and let me see if you should say it out loud. <laughs> a bottle of pills. I was walking around jiggling pills trying to make sure she could hear to make her think that I was going to take them. But did you say something? Was you like, 
I'm telling you, man, I'm down and not bad, man. Probably I just, something I don't like even that. I wanna be here no more. Wish Probably you. something like that. And I was just jiggling them little bottle of Advil. <laughs> could you even die from taking off with that Advil? I don't know if you could die, but I'm pretty sure it could cause some other problems. <laughs> But yeah, I was just so young. I ne- I promise you, I never did anything how like that old again. You know about how old you I probably were. had to been like what sixteen. I was thinking you. Yeah, was something that. like that. But I just remember doing that shit, and I, that shit so ugly. He did try to slide that shit in because I thought it to his wrist. I thought he was just trying to give like a scenario of like some people might do. Yeah, this. that ain't no. <laughs> how you tell you ain't ever did nothing like that before? Oh no. All right. Oh, that's embarrassing. But comment below. I don't want to feel like I'm alone. If you ever did something stupid like that, uh, comment below. I don't want to be left alone in this situation. It was pretty embarrassing. Stupid girl, I didn't cut it all the way. It was like a little slight scratch. You know what I'm saying? Like a little I fell, hit a rock, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Nothing real deep. Not, you know, no blood gushing. Just a little light, you know, a little light, light. You know what I'm saying? Like a little cat scratch is what I did. Because a bitch was already scared that I was going. You know, I was already scared, but girl, like, oh my God, I gotta do this for real. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. But I did it. Just because I wanted to see what he was gonna, if he was gonna feel bad for how he made me feel. No offense to the people who've done that for real and really have that problem. Again, no offense to y'all. And I'm gonna tell you now, the girl who I was on the phone with, she didn't give two fucks about that bottle jiggle. She didn't give two fucks. Said trigger Shout alert. out to the Virgos. Love you. <laughs> and I'm not joking on what your issue is, but I. And I may have had the same issue, but mine was just for attention and, you know, whatever. Nice. Anyway, sensitive topic. Keep it moving. So, I did it to send him a picture so he could be like, what the fuck? You're crazy. What's going on? Why are you doing this? I'm coming back home to help you. Girl! Whatever. So, I say a fucking... We didn't talk for like a couple of, uh, he ain't worth it. I know, friend. I had to figure it out, girl. Yeah, he so, Tesla? um... He has to, yeah. He got a Tesla? I don't, whatever he's driving, because his hand is off. Yes, so. unless he's driving with his knees and his legs. I've no. seen people do You know, a couple of days past, a little Driving month, whatever, we weren't talking. He was still coming to hang out with my cousin, whatever the case may be. And then he come up in the house, and then he'll come in my room. Mind you, I'm chilling. He gonna come in there, and we gonna start kissing and stuff. And we ended it off. Somebody say, are you driving with your knees? I've seen somebody driving with their knees. I've seen some girl driving with her knees and texting at the same time. Yeah, it's people I've who seen do that. that too. Somebody asked, said, Zoe, why your hands not on the wheel? Stuff like that. So years passed. He done got married to a man. That's true. Hold on. This person right here, they said, it's crazy how everybody have to add disclaimers when talking about that, shit. Yeah, they said nowadays when talking about because people are too sensitive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very true. Years pass. You know, okay, we're grown ups now. We're grown. We grown. We grown. We <laughs> hello family. Years pass. He didn't got married to a man. The man is like, I'm not gonna say too much because the man might not a cheater. She's not that girl. So, um, years pass. He gets married to a man. Whatever the case may be, him and the man are good, I guess. But then he's been calling me on the side every blue moon. Like, what you doing? What? Can I fuck? No, I'm a bird. So, um, oh, no. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> now today he's calling me now. So like, should I give him a chance? It's cause time has passed. He, I think him and his husband finna get a divorce. Still on the same shit. Cause when y'all were married, you was hitting me up. Y'all getting a divorce and you hitting me up. So you gotta still be on the same shit from when we was back in the day. I don't think I need to go back down that road. No. I don't need to go back down that road. I don't need to go back down that road. And then that means if we were that age then, that means your penis has probably gotten bigger. And I'm not that girl. She's not, uh uh-uh. I can't ride that roller coaster. I'm sorry. I don't know. You hit C? No. What you hit? Oh, you almost did it. You just hit the little (laughs) C. Good job, baby. I see you. She's trying to learn this software, too. Go ahead, so, baby. Yeah, it's that, um, or either he has gotten slicker with his skills because he older now. Yeah. And he been in the marriage. He been having a, if he been messaging Zoe, trying to link up, he been doing other shit in his marriage, getting away with it. 
I definitely wouldn't go down this road again. All right, the hit Q. Hit Q. All right. I know how to do it. I, I can't. I can't ride that roller coaster, girl. <laughs> That pogo stick is not the one to be bounced on. This <laughs> bitch is not today. Not for me, girl. Uh-uh. I can't play with that, bitch. That's a whole weapon, bitch. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hello, bitch. That's a dagger. <laughs> not for the stab me. Mm -mm. Disrespect, not sexy. Right, friend? So I'm not even going to do it, friend. Yeah, no. I'm not even going to do it, friend, because I was already... He was already in my head then. Like, imagine me what I was doing now to get his attention. <sighs> I have the worst luck with men. Like, men, I have the worst luck. Like, I be finding these DL niggas who I be feeling like, DL, oh, girl, I see why y'all straight girls go through the BS y'all go through because men know how to talk that game. Like, uh, oh, God, calm down. <laughs> Hello, Ruth. <laughs> they will make you feel like you are just the most specialist. Is that a good word? You're the most amazing thing in the world. Like, they'll make you feel like don't nothing matter but you. They'll put this aura around you where you're just like, oh, you're just like, oh my God. They tell you all the right stuff at the right time. It's like they pop up when you need them. And then, bitch, after a couple of like, straight dudes, they like to Oh, girl, they be good. They're like a, a toy. A toy work for so long, and then it start to malfunction. And then when you try to fix it, it's just like, no, I got to buy a new toy. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, oh, so like the toy be good. It be fun. And then all of a sudden, it start to break down. And you're just like, oh, this toy ain't no good. It ain't what I thought. And you just be trying to fix it and hold on to it because you just really like that toy. Yeah, because I was wondering. I was like, it's... And get on the fridge. Yeah, because I was, I was like, it's got to be... Because, again, I've never dated a guy, a man. So it's kind of like, I was like, why do it seem like a lot of women team, seem to get so emotionally invested in guys when they a lot of them seem like they play games? And I was like, it's got to be when it comes to that pillow talking or some shit like when, they're, when it's just them two, they got to be, like, really smooth with telling them, like, sweet nothings. Yeah. It's got to be. And they gotta be really good at it. And then it's like, you know what? I don't even really need this toy. This toy wasn't good for me anyway. I don't outgrew this toy. Oh my god. Girl, I'm just so over it, girl. <laughs> oh, they just be stressing me. Oh, they be. They, I need a new toy. Santa Claus. Can I sit in your lap? To the street. <laughs> Santa Claus! I need to talk to you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not a toy. Yes, girl. Yes, because that's what these niggas act like. They just act like toys. They be playing games, girl. And we ain't got time for it. They really be just playing. They'll tell you everything. And then it be so funny. Like, guys always want to put it on a girl. Like, no, it don't really be women. The only time. Now, you do got some hoish ass women. I'm not going to lie. There are some women who are hoes out here in these streets. Yep. Period. But nine times out of the ten, it is the man. Because I saw this one post. And it's just the, because it's, what is it called? Monarchy? Anarchy? Monarchy? Pa whatever. Patriarchy. When it's like a man's world. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get a dictionary if you don't. But the girls who got common sense know. I'm trying to speak intellectual, but she's not that girl. She's just somewhat that girl. <laughs> anyway. Patriarchy. So, um, slow down, though. Get to where you're going. What was it? Back on the street. One way. There. So, I was going to this boy's post, and his and post said, I what it say? <laughs> when your girl is down, men should have her back, or something like that. But when your man is down, you should have his back times too. Wait a minute! Gaslighting. What's the difference between me being down and you being down? Yeah, Why do I got to step one. harder because you down? Look at me. I'm on the girl's side. Why do I got to step down because you harder? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, why I got to step harder because you're down? That don't make no sense to me. So when I'm down, it's like, oh, she could take care of herself. She going to be good. You think because when I'm down and you a man, you going to take more responsibility, more care and responsibility of me? No, you're not responsibility of me. No res What's the words, though? Speak like you got some sense. You graduated. Anyway, follow me, camera. So that made me so mad. I'm like, no, if anything, 
you need to come harder when she down. And it be do that shit be pissing me off. And they be like, um, women don't ever um what they be saying, me and Lil saying this. Women don't ever want to stick around when you down bad, but won't but then when they down bad, they leave you. First of all, nigga, y'all been dipping off, ho. Fuck is you saying? Y'all been dipping off. Y'all was dipping off when you was down bad. When you shouldn't have been dipping off because we was the one putting gas in your car. The car, gas in our car driving you around because nine times out of ten, a woman gonna have a car before a man anyway. Now, this is being real, y'all. I'm sorry. And then, like, oh, <laughs> you, oh, they just make me so mad. me so mad and they want to play victim and wonder why when oh they just play that i hate when men play victim i hate when they play victim like they're the ones who are so hurt first of all boo boo <laughs> first of all now i ain't gonna lie some of y'all women aren't good at communicating but a lot of men aren't good at communicating men like to be like oh you mad okay fuck it and then they, then the instant, and then even if they say fuck it, like don't ask me these stupid ass questions. If you know that I'm mad, don't ask me, am I mad? Sit back first before you come my goddamn face. Excuse me. Think about it. What you want to say? Look at me. Figure out what's going on. And then you come to me because I did so and so, so and so. Or I realize you mad because you had a bad day today. Is there anything I can do? Instead of saying, why you mad? Bitch, you know the fuck what? Get out my goddamn face. Don't, I'm not, that's why I'm going to say I'm, I'm not even mad. I'm not mad. I'm going to say I'm not mad because your stupid ass going to ask a dumb question. You get a stupid answer, stupid. Oh, I, I'm pissed. I'm single and pissed right now. You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Men just don't take the time to understand. They want you to just be. They want you to just be up. Like we women are up front because one, we're gonna let you know something's wrong. But women like attention. They do. Women like attention, and they like for you to get them and understand them. So. <sighs> Let me just hush. I'm over it. Move, Volkswagen. <laughs> I know your shit made out of metal, bitch, but I still run you off this road, ho. <laughs> you know them old cars he made out of <laughs> metal and shit. <laughs> And them old cars will fuck you up if they hit they you. Will. Girl, and they be thinking they can run the road because they're, they if they tap your car, bitch, it's a whole dent. Your shit flipping. <laughs> girl, I ain't never scared, girl. She's a thundercat, bitch. Let's go to war. What was it? Oh, guys, it's the wrong way? Oh, no, this is the right way. Anyway, so it's just a lot going on. But, yeah, back to the dudes. I'm just so tired of... Because, like, when I made that post on my story, everybody was like, oh, my God, it's because you date hood niggas. Look, first of all, let me tell you something. There are some good hood guys out there. Not every hood guy is an asshole. Some of them can be faithful. Well, do you have Just got to get their life in order, which means they, they got a lot of shit going on in the streets, but he ain't a hoe. Then you got some who are a hoe who don't got shit going on in the streets. But they like being in the street. You got different types of hood. You get what I'm saying? There's a lot of different types of hood. So yeah. don't put all of the hood niggas in the cheating category because they're not all cheating. Some of them just lazy. Some of them just don't have a... a, a well, like my wife said, she took the time to try to give someone who was considered a nerd um, the chance. And he ended up cheating on you. Yeah. Or playing games. Yeah. <clears throat> Even me. Like, I've tried giving a girl who wasn't the type of girl that I typically date. I tried to give her a chance and she ended up running game on me. I'm like, well, damn, I might as well fuck with somebody who, you know, looks is worth the games. Yeah. Then to be getting played around by you. It just depends on who the person is and if they have good morals. Yeah. And, or if they are not ready to settle down. Some people would just let you know. They're not ready to settle down. They still out playing in the world. Yeah, but if somebody tell you that and that ain't what you looking for, don't waste your time with them. Yes, that's why it's like whatever you gonna mess with, just make sure it's something you genuinely want to mess with. Cause it's even to the women who be like, I just, I just need to try to be lesbian. 
It's like if you don't genuinely like women and you genuinely like men, you need to stay your ass over there. <laughs> I'm telling you, you come over here with women and you fuck around mess with a woman who playing games and you gonna get triple or, or, or quadruple fucked up because women, their minds, our minds are more complex. So if we try to run game, it's gonna be way more slicker than a man could ever do. So be careful. Don't don't come over here unless you want to come over here. Don't bring your ass over here. Nah. Uh, direction they want to go in, so they're trying to find a way. It's just a lot of different ones, okay? So I just like that because I am a very dominant woman. <laughs> my pronouns are she, her, woman, and uh, ma'am, and... You know that's my that's my pronouns. I don't go <laughs> off of he, him, and his and stuff. Really? Mine is she, her, and uh, ma'am, and yeah, you got it. Those are my pronouns. So anyway, hold on. So you telling me when we be saying he and him for for Zoe, we be wrong? But you know somebody told us that in the comments. But because Zoe, depending on what mood Zoe in, I've heard him refer to him as, if I'm not mistaken. So I gotta start saying she when I'm talking about Zoe now? Child, I don't know. And they? Look at that woman on the pole. I can low-key see her dick print. Sis be working that pole. Yes, look, you see it. Her <laughs> dick print low-key see. Okay, sorry y'all, sorry, I'm sorry for being petty, my bad. I should put a disclaimer. Um, I'm a, um, I'm hard. So I can't be with somebody who is like passive, like passive aggressive or very sensitive. I can't be with that person. And most of the time, it's the hood ones who know how to handle me. But then I get myself in a bind to where I'm like, oh, fuck, I done met my match. And then I'm just screwed. This shit crazy. Or... I met my match and I walk away. I'm good at walking away, girl. She could walk away in a minute. Like, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't care. And the gag is, I really be caring. I really be, and then they don't be coming back. And then I begin to, I'm like, what? Why are you not coming back? And I think they be feeling like, well, is Zoe gonna come back? And then, girl, I don't come back. So now we just both sitting here trying to be stubborn when we both want each other to come back. And then, girl, it is what it is. And then, you know, a month later, we might like each other's picture or go look at each other's story, and then we'll talk, and then we'll be back back in the situation. Well, I'm going to tell you now, that means y'all don't need to be with each other because I'm going to tell you now, when you're dealing with a stubborn person, yeah. the other person do not need to be just as stubborn. Oh, it's just going to make things just go so slow. That's why me, I always tend to date well, sorry, I always tended to date. Now I'm married to stubborn people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when my wife gets to her moment where she want to shut down, I give her a little time or whatever, but it's not going to be too long before I'm willing to be like, hey, come on, let's go make on up. Yeah. Because if I was stubborn too, and Carly get in her little mood, we'll never talk. Yeah. So I just don't understand two stubborn people being in a relationship. Again, somebody get mad and stubborn again, and then we gone again. Girl, why are we playing this psycho? <laughs> Ain't got time for it. Oh, this is so sour. What oh, is this so sour? Mm, this is so sour. I don't know, girl. That is good for real. That's when you get mad. Fight for me. No, <laughs> right. But the gag is. Everybody wants somebody to fight for them, but we don't want to fight for them. That's why we all gonna be single. Cause oh shit. Mm -hmm. Another reason y'all all look gonna... at him blowing at somebody. It look like he just passed the. Um... You are so fine. Ah! It's, a <laughs> it's a rest he area. He was fine, girl. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, y'all. I got <laughs> got distracted. Um. Oh, well, girl, these good. I got stop eating these sweets because sweets break me out. What? And I had got like two little bumps right here the other day, but I got this facial wash, and girl, she said, Ugh, and got them right together, girl. So 
bitch. You won't get me. Hello. Focus on the road. I'm on the road, girl. You focus on you. Boom. Got him. Ooh. I just don't know what to do at this point. At this point, I just... I just gotta pray about it. I just gotta pray about it. And then, like, people be saying, what's well, up? Date older. Y'all, I've dated older. I've dated my age. Like, I've dated... I dated people who were, like, a little... But the thing is, it's like, it don't matter if you date older, if your mind is not there. Like, if you're not there mature. If you're... If you don't have that maturity yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know where he is in his maturity, but it's kind of like with Carla. Like, a lot of... Most people know that we have an age gap. But the thing is, if I would have tried to be with Carla when I was still in my old mindset, playing games, you know, cheating, being immature and shit like that, I probably wouldn't last it with Carla. Yeah. In this beautiful union that we have, you know, brought together, it just wouldn't be. Yeah. But I had to be there too, and Carla had to be there too. Yeah. Carla was a piece of hot uh, fire too. <laughs> <laughs> shit. A little younger than me, I've dated, like, the older ones who be like 40 and 30, they be so boring. <clears throat> they be wanting to just, they be ready to marry you and stuff. Like right now, look, take it slow. Whoa there, buddy. I know we're about to clock out of life soon. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> okay. I know you got to get your 401k and your um, disability check and all that stuff. Relax. Okay. We can take it slow. But they be ready to just like settle down and like, and like do family shit like let's go on a picnic picnic <laughs> that's very true Pit that it's like there's no well most people who are older they are ready to like do just grown-up shit and not play a lot of the games yeah well if he not ready for that he right where he need to be exactly the and, and this is the type of bullshit he's gonna experience yeah and that's why i said again because they are not ready to settle down i just said that until you find somebody who is not interested in playing games and they, you know, like, okay, I'm ready to look for somebody. I done been out there playing around. I had fun. Now I want somebody. I want a commitment. It's like, if you're saying you're not ready for that and you ain't ready for the games either, what are you ready for? Yeah. Now it's not saying that you can't date somebody who is maybe older or your age and they are ready to settle down, but they still like to go out to the clubs and stuff like that. But you got to understand it's going to be a heavy mix of y'all yeah. preparing for shit like, <clears throat> excuse me, retirement, making sure you set up, you know, just grown shit, life insurance, just stuff like that. Cause it's like a lot of times when you're there mentally, you start thinking differently. You start realizing that I'm not going to be young forever. You know, in my opinion, everything you do in your young 20s, your early 30s, shit like that, it's like, it's shit that's building, it's determining where you're going to be at in life later in life, in my opinion. Yeah. But you know, some once I hit a certain age... I think once I start hitting my late 20s, that's when I start yeah. realizing, okay, I'm like... I'm starting to need to make sure I'm doing shit right. It was my 30s when I was, I guess I was right at 29, 30. I was like, oh, I'm tired of going to the club, setting up on the wall. It was just like, I was like, I'd rather be at home. I had got to a point where I was like, I want to be comfortable. I don't want my feet to be hurting. I can have me a drink at home. You know, I don't want no random ass folks walking up on me trying to, See if they can pursue me and fuck me tonight. Like, once I got to that point, I used to be like, I'm not going to the club. So then I would randomly go to the club when somebody just begged me to go. And then when I would go, I would be like, I could be at home in my bed right now. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this shit no more. Comment below if you can relate. Comment below your <laughs> thoughts on what we're talking about right now. Let's go. <laughs> want to go to a picnic bitch let's go get on it's crazy because i was just thinking i was like oh babe i think a nice little date for our next date will be a nice picnic and i was like yeah <laughs> i guess we all He's talking about this. <laughs> I I guess we got our person 
And, and he's still looking. And we loyal, we faithful, we and have we a good time. And we play the motherfucking games. Yeah, we have And we are making this bread together. Let's go. We did a lot of traveling <laughs> with each other. It's like I don't know. I'm just happy with where I'm at. I'm I'm very happy and but it's like I don't want to shoot him down for wanting what he want. But a lot of times when you want that spicy shit, it comes with spicy. It comes with spicy shit. Yeah. Stupid. Let's almost break our neck. Like, hello. Like, let, let's go bungee jump or something. Like, they want to go to the picnic. They want to come to the house and sit from the fireplace. My wife, not too long ago, just jumped out of a fucking perfectly good airplane. Sure did. She went skydiving. It doesn't so mean it just because majority of my life, majority of my time, I prefer to be at home. Don't mean I don't like to do fun shit sometimes. Yeah. I get out there and get my little hands dirty. And like right now, we're on a break from doing a lot of traveling, but I'm sure it's going to start back up when we get to doing a lot of crazy yeah, cause traveling Yeah, because we still got to do white water rafting. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> you can going to call me Grandma Nick because, baby, I don't know if I'm going to do that, baby. Uh, call me Grandma yeah, Nick if you so, want to. What you it's say? Up. It's fun and scary at the same time. Yeah, it baby. is. Mm -mm. I've done it before. Whew. They want to cuddle up on the blankets and shit. Bitch, it's hot. I don't even want to cuddle. No. They want to do something like that. But like they want they want to like, can I massage your feet? First of all, bitch, I don't even like feet. Don't touch my feet. Ugh. Get out of my face. I don't know. I mean, that stuff is good. It's fun when I'm ready for that. I'm not ready for that. I just want to be loved. <laughs> what? I just want to be loved. Like I want that. I want that gangster love that um Jada and Tupac. Okay, what do gangster love come with? Where's Tupac at now? Rest in peace to him. Oh, no. I'm just saying. Look, listen to what he's saying. Like he just be double talking. So he want that gangster love. A lot of times that come with what? A gangster slap. Yes, even somebody <laughs> end up getting locked up, and you gotta hold your man down while he locked up, or your girl down. Shout out to uh, what's her name? Cece. No, Ooh. uh, Papoose and, and his oh, woman. Oh yeah, Remy. Yeah, you gotta hold down your person while they locked up, or you know, y'all end up scheming, trying to get over. Uh, think about what gangster love is. That shit ratchet as hell. I'm just thinking about old family members. And what they gangsta love look like. And that's how I know that ain't what I want. Yeah. See, and a lot of times, I it's rare. Shout out to my family. It's like I think it's only one uncle that I think is maybe slipping through the cracks where he may be faithful, but I don't know what the fuck he doing. But a lot of my gangster uncles, they're not faithful. And they're getting old as hell. And they're still not on that faithful shit. I think that one uncle is faithful. You think so? Mm-hmm. He like the only one, but he ain't even a gangster. No. Think about what he do. He ain't no gangster. He yeah, used to be. Yeah, but he a clean cut dude. Yeah. You know, he take care of his wife. But he do shit like picnics. He do shit that he probably wouldn't like. Yeah. But thinking about my gangster uh, uncles, as old as they are, they still on bullshit. Mm -hmm. You gonna be getting cheated on. That's how come I had to let that um, want a hard nigga go. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> That is not the life I want. I used to thought I, I thought I wanted a thug too. So I had to sit down and just do an assessment and just be like, okay, Carly, you can go this direction or you can go this direction. I'm telling you now, a lot of times those fork in the roads, it determines what your life is going to look like. Yeah, I could have went that, if I would have went that direction, I pro my kids probably wouldn't have a relationship with their dad. They probably wouldn't even know who their daddy is. And I just hate to say it, but those are the type of people that I was talking to back in the day. But then when I decided, you know something, you need to do something completely different. Even though me and my kid's father is not together, we still have a beautiful friendship and we both have a relationship with our kids and we're respectful. He respect Nick. I respect his girlfriend. It's like you can still, you know, do that and get along. We've all been in the same environment together. Not nobody trying to nook if you book. Like. I remember I remember one time in my younger years, I used to be like, I want a woman that fights with me. You know, uh, that wanna like get into an argue. Like if she ain't trying to argue with me, some shit ain't right. 
It's like, I, but I had to really sit back and realize that I want peace in my life. When I got to the point where I wanted peace in my life, it changed everything. You gotta understand, whatever you want, that's what you're gonna get. He want gangsta love, that's what he's getting. Gangsta love. Yeah. <laughs> I remember just for me growing up with my parents fighting, I used to always have this thing of, I do not want to be arguing. And the people who I used to talk to, like, don't get me wrong, you can have like a healthy argument, but y'all, when I tell y'all we don't argue, and that was something I used to be like, I don't want to be with somebody where I got to argue. We got to be like fussing all the time. And the people I was talking to back in the day used to make it seem like that's what's going to happen. And I'm like, well, I'm going to be by myself because I'm not about to do that. Yeah, whatever that intentions. That takes too much energy. It, it, it drains me. I can't do that. Whatever intentions you set, you literally can get it. Like, if you want a relationship, like, again, I always say my two things, my two words that I live by, I want my freedom and I want my peace. And I got that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, be careful what you say you want because you will definitely get that shit. Facts. Uh, oh. oh, and then let me just say this. Hold on, baby. You just hit hit letters now. We I ain't gonna just hit. I said Z as in zebra. Oh, Z. I thought you said Z, baby. <laughs> hit letters. I thought you said C. Okay, that is. I said Z as in zebra. Go okay, ahead. but I was gonna say you also have to be careful about saying what, like how he just said, that ain't what I want right now, right? By the time you decide that you want it, you could have been missed out on your person. So I'm just gonna give an example. When me and my kid's dad um, was together, he had this moment where he actually ended up telling me, like, I think you're a wonderful person, like a beautiful person. Like, when I'm ready to get married, you're the type of person I want to marry. He was like, but that ain't what I'm trying to do right now. And I told him, I said, that's cool. That's cool. I, I appreciate you for telling me that, right? But he also didn't want to let me go. It was like he was still trying to hold on to me. And I had through my deuces up, I started talking to other people, right? But because that happened and we did a lot of going back and forth, fucking around on each other, you know, it kind of like, it it damaged the relationship. So it's like you have to be careful about saying what you're not ready for because you can miss your opportunity because we did all of that stuff and then the end result is even though he realized that's what I want, it was too late because I ended up doing some shit and it just really ruined the relationship. Even though he was still trying to hold on to me, but by that time I was like, this is not what I want. Like, I, it's like, it's too much damage that's been done. Too, it's yeah. like, it's too much trash that has been thrown into this relationship. And at this point, I'm disgusted. It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. So, you have to be careful about that. So, don't miss your motherfucking train out here trying to be yeah, out here getting crunk. Preferring something a little yeah. better, you know, with lips. So... <laughs> I want that love. Okay, you gonna get your gangsta love. I want that gangsta love. Like that that Lil' Kim and Vicky Smalls, you know what I'm saying? And like, look, I want that. And what, what happened to them? Rest in peace to Biggie. Rest oh, in peace to Tupac. What happened to and Lil' Kim Lil and Kim. Biggie Smalls? Okay. Biggie then went off and then married Faith in less than a fucking month. And now Lil' Kim trying to look like Faith later in life. <laughs> So it's just you're like, not like, giving good examples. I need an example of somebody that is making it okay, right. Okay, what's now. a good gangster couple? Okay, maybe a gangster love. We can think about um, uh, Gucci Mane and his woman. But look at what his woman had to go through. Yeah, she had to go through all the bullshit he did before getting locked up. So but him you know, I can I can see Zoe doing that. If, if, like if his person gonna come back home and eventually settle down, I can see him being a Keisha. Yeah, but that's okay. So if that's what he want to each his own, you can have it. Yeah. Me, I just couldn't want no shit like that. <laughs> but that is what gangsta love look like. Yeah, yeah maybe y'all come out getting matching Lamborghinis and shit like that. But look at the head gates. Are they even together anymore? I don't know. I don't even think they're together anymore. 
Comment below. Are they still together? Because I, I don't. That's another gangster love I can think but of. But just really think about good examples of gangster love that we know of. Yeah. I think gangster love, a lot of time, the love, it be, um, like, it be very explosive and exciting for a short period of time. But it don't, it's not everlasting. It's not long lasting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Either somebody get killed, they get locked up. They uh, get cheated on, heartbroken, or some shit like that. Yeah. So, hey, that's gangster love to me. Kind of love where it's like, can I roll your blunt for you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, let me count your money with the machine. <laughs> what? Hold on, what money is we counting? The gangster money. Are we counting gangster money? Yes. He want that thug life. He want that thug passion. And that's why I said a lot of times. How he want thug passion and he don't even want no big dangling? Yeah, a lot of gangsters <laughs> got big dicks. Am I wrong? Comment, comment below. Do a lot of. <laughs> Most gangsters got big dicks. And you can't even handle it with your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> you supposed to be like Beyonce surfing on it. <laughs> you mean he said Zosa, he don't even want to surf. But he wants the life. Yeah. Well, you don't want no gangster love. Yeah. <laughs> you can't handle I'm gangster. gonna do that. Like, let me catch your money with the machine, nigga. Like, what the fuck? And now I got guns, guns under my bed. Like, I want that love. Like, but it be real love. Like, it be that real love. Like, yeah. uh, that I, it's so. Zoe been watching too much motherfucking TV. He been watching. Is it Bait? Is that that movie? I can't no, remember what's that, that, that movie. Um, show we tried to watch that everybody was into it. We Power? Get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's some power. So we couldn't even get that shit was so gangster. We couldn't even get into that shit. We couldn't get into it. Now, I know a lot of people did, but I was like, baby, this is too thuggish, yes. riggish bone for yes, me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> exciting because it's always something new you don't know what to expect like what's gonna happen yeah, it's just like a oh it's like a hundred house oh, pop out uh, of here uh, i don't know girl no, sir. <laughs> oh, damn, no, damn, no motherfucking <laughs> oh shit i came the wrong way oh this is disrespect <laughs> Oh, the disrespect I just did. Oh, Ooh, this is goodness. the disrespect. Ooh, I came the wrong way. Hold on, let me start over. This this is just the disrespect. Hold on, ain't nobody gonna let me in because they all want to eat. Oh, raggedy ass bitches. Oh, hold on, y'all. This the line for Chick-fil-A? Oh, Ooh, girl. Chick-fil-A. Oh, girl. This Ooh, steroid chicken wrong. ain't that good. Yes, yes hold it on, is. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn around because I'm still gonna get Honey, it's so good. My daughter said if she found out they was putting crack in it right now, she'll keep eating it. Get some, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna get some, though. A bitch is hungry. See? And he's about to exactly. get that long ass But saying? they move fast. I'm though. weak. Look, girl, this is me for real. That's why I say when I get a boyfriend, he gonna always be laughing. We gonna always have fun, but it's just like nobody ever wanna be. These straight niggas like being around me. But they don't ever want to like make it official. Like, though you just cool people, bitch. Fuck cool people. You already know what the fuck I'm on. Don't be my friend. If you're trying to be my friend, then don't talk to me. I don't want to be your friend. And I know they be saying, you know that one little. It was a meme. Can straight dudes and gay dudes be friends? Yeah, they can. Just not with me. I don't want to be your friend. Don't even talk to me. Don't even DM me. Don't even look at me. Don't even wink. Don't even, bitch, don't even fight me. Because at that point, I'm happy you fighting me, bitch. Get on top. Fight me. Punch me while I'm down. I just want to grab your penis. Oh, Lord. Bless this little soul. In my opinion, I think gay men being friends with straight men is almost the same as lesbians being friends with straight men in a sense and what I mean by that is it's kind of like if a straight man is a friend with a gay man I think a lot of times depending on who the gay man is you may have some that may be able to be cool with it but a lot of gay men may be wanting to see if there's going to be any leaks or opportunities for them to be able to suck their dick or something mm -hmm. any little weak spot you come in the house drunk Mad at your girl, something like that. Hey, you may just get your dicks up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the same with a lesbian. You be trying to be friends with a straight guy or a guy, or whatever. You come in, you you mad about your girlfriend or you something going on with you, and you may get your pussy ate or some shit like that. And you might get fucked. Yeah. So I just I don't know. That's just my opinion. Comment if you think I'm wrong. Comment below.
Like, I be thinking about Young and May, you know, and I be seeing her around all them dudes. It's like, especially since, like, uh, Kodak Black done said, uh, I can't even remember the lyrics. Me either. Some, 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 fuck a stud. Something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He done made it even more trendy or popular at the thought of fucking, fucking masculine presenting women. Yeah. It's like, but since he made that song, it's so many men that's come out like shit, I want to fuck a stud. Yeah, they said, like, she, you still got titties and pussy exactly. under the under men clothes. So it's like, me, personally, I'm not friends with a lot of guys. Um, I, Am I friends with any guys? I'm just not friends with a lot of people, period. But I just never really got how people could feel comfortable around it. Because yeah. I be thinking, like, you got to always kind of have a guard up. Can't just let your hair down and relax. And it's like all the fine ones want to be my friend. Like, nigga. And then the ugly ones are the ones who be like, nigga, I ain't gay. Bitch, I didn't even want to. Bitch, first of all, your music was good. <laughs> Relax. I wasn't even trying you. The ones who should be scared don't be the scared ones. It be the ugly ones that be scared. Like, Ugh. Yeah, like that little cute one with them freckles and all. Almost look like little Durkio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was real cute. I wonder, <laughs> wonder how that played out. No, I ain't like that. I'm just, I just want to let you know, bro. I, I just fuck with you. Nigga, don't. <laughs> At this point, block me, please. Oh my God, they be so, ooh, it be the ugly ones. It be the ugly ones that be thinking I want them and I don't. Ugh, child. And they just, and I be like, ugh, child. Ew. Anyway, uh, <laughs> y'all, I'm just talking today. Um, what's I finna say? Y'all, my new, um, my new It's Your Friday Dance is coming up. That's why I haven't posted because there's a new one that is coming out. And y'all know I've been partnered with P-Valley for like a minute. Um, that's if y'all go back and look at some of my It's Fridays, I partnered with P-Valley. I was doing the reaction videos to the show. Um, but this new Friday that's coming out when I partnered with P-Valley. Y'all gotta see it, girl. Oh, I have bruised early. my arm, bruised my legs, got Dang. burnt pole burn on my knee. Oh, y'all, oh, she cut stuff on this one, girl. In. I just realized he slick sound like Chris Tucker sometimes. Everybody always said it. They say I sound like Chris Tucker, girl. And Everybody said that's why I said, bitch, I could be. Y'all know what? I want to do stand up. Um, Because I think I will be the first. Don't get me wrong. Don't quote me. Would I be like the first popular rainbow comedian i don't know if, who is there any rainbow comedians that are like just up there with like chris tucker and you know martin lawrence and all them is there one that's up there with them i don't think so right bitch i'll be the first one girl girl she'll cut Ellen. up down sit down he talking about guys y'all come on with the dance class period it's a lot of fun. So you funny. Girl, I just be telling stories, girl. Just imagine if I had, if I write out my stories at punchlines and know where I want to go with it. Oh, yeah. bitch, I'd be well, funny I as hell. one thing. Don't be like T.I. and try to put the cart before the horse because I think T.I., y'all know, if y'all don't know, he's been trying to do comedy, you know, be a comedian. And it was one thing where it showed him getting booed um, off the stage. And my thing is, he was in front of a lot of fucking people. I'm like, why is he already in front of all these people? I know he's famous, but even, um, um, what is the comedian name? Oh, fuck, the, the bald head comedian that smoked the cigarettes. The popular one. Oh, um, damn, I can't think of his name. The one who baked us cream. Yeah, even he, um, I wish you could remember his name, but um, even he, as big of a comedian as he is, even he go to small local areas before he perform um, his big thing, his shows in front of big people. So I'm like, why is uh, T.I. already in front of all these people? Yo, girl. LOL, not rainbow, right? <laughs> right here. You'll be the first. <laughs> Ellen, oh, bitch, Ellen, girl, we talking about black. White people are credit. I mean, oh, calm down. You got white people in. I'm just playing. Ellen is one of them. Hey, Ellen. Even though you ignore. Cat Hold on, I where am I going? Cat Who's I talking? What are you about? saying? Go right here to go order. Okay. Hey, hey. 
Dave Chappelle. There yeah. we go. Even Dave Chappelle takes the time to go to local small little clubs, tell his jokes, practice them out before he get in front of big crowds. So what? What the fuck was Ti doing in front of all those people? He think his celebrity status was no. going to. You know, make people respect him. It's like people already have too many yes men in their corners when they tend mm -hmm. to be celebrities. So you want to just, excuse me, practice that shit on a smaller level. Why they say Cat Williams and he ain't gay? <laughs> Cat Williams, oh, he, they wrong for that. Yes, why do they say that? <laughs> Don't do Cat Williams. That's my favorite. Calm me, down, favorite Crunch comedian. Bar. Ugh. Oh, I think, he, <laughs> I think he hurt me. Why didn't mean talk about his pimples like that? He called him a crunch bar. Oh my goodness. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what this <laughs> Caucasian I'm talking about. Hey, man, how you doing? Zoe, Z O I E. What can I get for you? Um, the spicy chicken meal or whatever, I guess, is what it's called. The chicken sandwich meal, all right? Yeah, with lar large fries. All right? Yeah. And I want sweet tea. I want it half sweet, half unsweet. Okay. What else can I get for you? Just two barbecue sauces. That's my And meal. I don't need that receipt either. No. Okay, thank you. Damn, he pulling up while he's talking. Okay, that hurt right here at the end? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Don't crazy. Let me see what this Caucasian My pronouns are ma'am. Yes, sir. Do I look like a sir? Actually, you do. Do I look like a sir? My pronouns are he, she, ma'am, and um, sis. Okay. He, she, her, ma'am, and sis. Please don't do me. Okay, but you said he. That's confusing. So he, so I can say he. Yeah. He said blah, he blah, said blah, blah. He said he, she. Okay. So why we can't say sir, ma'am? Because he don't want to be, um, he don't want people saying sir to him. Okay. Don't disrespect me. Respect <laughs> That's how the LGBT time. community Sorry, ma'am. Don't disrespect me. Uh, somebody said, Zoe, Chick fil A is homophobic. Girl, and so are some of um, my family members. But guess what? Me and my wife already said we don't give a fuck how homophobic Chick fil A is. We still gonna eat their food as good I as hell. I know, we on keto, and I've been trying to think of a keto meal for us to go get. And I think it's gonna be like some of them grilled niggas with a salad. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, we, they food too good for us to care about them being homophobic. I'm sorry. <laughs> call me or whatever you wanna call me. I still talk to them. Bitch, I'm trying to eat. I bitch is hungry. The chicken didn't do shit to me, nor did that fry. <laughs> that potato was grown in God's earth, girl, and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Child, please. Hallelujah. At least they open about it. Sometimes we hang around folks who yes. be fake as hell, talking yes. about, I'm your friend, I'm your friend. And Facts. girl, before you know it, girl, they're sleeping with your boyfriend, stealing your money, them broken in your house, and everything else, and lot on you times 10. Girl, I'd rather deal with Chick-fil-A. At least they keep it real. What's up? What's up, chick? Uh, that's on, and that's on food. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and that's on food. Okay, okay, bitch. Okay, girl. I respect people who keep it real. If you don't like gays, great. You don't like black people or white people, great. Just tell me so I know how to treat you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come here every blue moon, but I'm not gonna come here every day and put money in your pockets. Bitch, I know you don't like my people. But I come here, you know, because some black kids work here. So I'm helping them. I'm looking at me helping them black kids. Um, He, she, her, him, you are fine. <laughs> Period. Chick-fil-A. That's what they say, girl. They say Chick-fil-A be doing, um, putting money towards companies that are anti-homosexual or something, honey. I don't know, girl. I ain't never, I don't know, girl. I ain't got nothing to do with it. It ain't none of my business, girl. They got to they gotta deal with that at the end of this time. I ain't, bitch, I'm just trying to eat. <laughs> we the best people in the world. I'm here we are. Oh, and let me tell y'all something. Black people, this some real ass shit. Hold on, let me let me, let me get up here. For, I don't want to say this from this white girl because I don't want her to be like, see, black folks talking about black folks. I'll knock on her face. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me uh, talk, give her, her, her stuff first. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Where my sanitizer? Cause she finna touch my card. Boom. Got it. Here we go. Y'all ready, huh? Hey. Hey, Zoe. Uh -huh. Oh, they got y'all a little sink out here, too. That is so cute. All right, it's 765. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, girl, I'm, I'm paying y'all coming around the corner. <laughs> yes. They be on it. All right. There you go. You have one for You do the same. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. How the hell I get up out of here then? Oh, oh 
Oh, Jesus, I get up out of here. I gotta wait right there where I go. <laughs> they moving so fast, I don't even know where to go. Do y'all have to run over the curb? Okay, okay. Oh, wait, my numbers are shot. Write that shit down. I kill every last one of y'all. Oh, the numbers on the back, though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers on the back, fool. They changed the cards now. The numbers is on the back. <laughs> the numbers is on the back, fool. <laughs> he is so funny. One more time. Fuck these fries up. Oh, this these fries be so good. These little uh um, yes. these basket fries be so good. I like these little basket fries. They remind me of um I like these crochet fries. They be real good, girl. Yeah. Woo! I love crochet fries. fries. Okay. <laughs> Not crochet fries, girl. These crochet fries. fries be good. These little knit fries be good, girl. Love my grandma knitted a blanket. Okay, um, <laughs> So what I was about to say was black people, y'all, we be so quick. Now I'm not saying all black people, but white people do this shit too. So I want to say like, you know, I hate people like black folk. You know, okay, let me. Some people, <laughs> okay, blah, blah, blah. some people who have jobs. All right, if you got a job and you want us to support your job, <clears throat> y'all read between the lines, okay? Read between the lines. If you have a job and you want us to support your job. Now, when we come and support your job, one, you need to be professional. It needs to be open, uh, clean. <laughs> uh, don't set a time, and then you're not even there at that time. Yeah. <laughs> let me just let me just hush. Just no. hush, so. He right. Remember, that's how just hilarious how she got really big. Where's she been? Remember, she was that's how she got big. She was talking about people who black people who have companies and they are not you're not open when you say you're gonna be open. You running out of shit, you giving a reason, talking about, oh, we had a family member that died last week. She like, it's a new week. So y'all still ain't got y'all y'all supply up. It's like black people, they already don't be doing right when um it comes to working for other people. Yeah. A lot a lot of times. I'll say yeah. some black people. Like you give them a time where it's slow or something like that, like the shift is slow or something. I ain't gonna like lie, or. cause I used to be trying to get over every time I could. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Finding loopholes and every damn thing. Okay, go ahead. It just us. <laughs> like just ooh, girl. Yeah, we in there. Spend Good stuff, job. spend money on your oh, I'm spitting. <laughs> spend money on your product. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like spend bad. money on your product. If your product is a to-go plate for food, get a get don't be getting them cheap to-go plates. Yeah. I need a I, one that's sturdy. Can I get a napkin? Can I get a fork, a spoon? You know, like oh we just God. Need to do better. I don't know. They be wanting you to support Not them, girl. People, but then when yeah. you support them, they fuck you over. Well, oh. I say shout out to um Pinky, uh, uh, the vegan place, Slutty Vegan. I mean, oh. I know we we don't go there often, but the time we have been there, it's like it seemed like the food was fresh, freshly made. Yeah. Yeah. Did we have to wait in a little line? Yeah, we did, but but they entertained you while you. Yeah. Were there. Her shit seemed on point. So yeah. I mean. Of course, with generalization, that doesn't mean everybody is like that. Yeah. But you got a few black people who be on it. You know what I'm saying? We getting better. Or you order from them, don't even get your shit. Chick-fil-A food be Girl, all I, the time. I order. I was trying to support this black person. Order some shorts. Girl, that was in 2019. He said, where the sauce at? That Chick-fil-A sauce. Make sure we still in there. He done froze up. Yeah, I like to dip my fries. In. Rack it up, rack it up. I
All right, well, that was a pretty cool little live. I mean, yeah, he was making a pretty cool little point about black businesses and getting on yeah. top of it. Uh, I think more and more we hear that, the more and more black people will try to be on top of it. Um, you just got to give it time. Yeah, I think people have to work through their kink. You know, and but I also think people should definitely be open to feedback. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I really actually enjoyed this reaction. I feel I like we had too. really good dialogue. <laughs> and like I said in our community section, a lot of times when we have long videos like this, a lot of times you can just push, put that motherfucker on play, and you can just go about your day. You can be shopping all that, treat it like a podcast. Because yeah. anytime it's like you have words on the screen, I'll read it out loud and stuff like that, so you don't even have to watch it like that. It's just something nice to listen to while you're going about your day or working. Yeah. But um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Also, like the video. We'll have to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more to Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never need it there, but don't be validation. Live it in your truth, only moment you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your vibration.